Two weeks since our last league game. How good was the win last week and how has the recovery gone since then? Yeah, listen, big win. Obviously, everyone knows what's happened since then. We've been drawn at home to St Albans, live on the box on, on Monday evening. Yeah, I thought it was very efficient, very professional, um, controlling at times. We were clinical, I think timings of the goals were good. We got in at the break, 1-0 up with Bodes finish at the back post, but I thought second half mirrored sort of where we were at with regards to Dagenham. I thought we were very dominant, played a lot in their half, created a lot of chances, but again, on reflection, on a, on a cup game, it doesn't really matter about the performance, it, it's solely about the result. And yeah, it's a nice one. We've gone and plucked our, our Hertfordshire rivals in St Albans and you know what I'm going to say now, that that's irrelevant, that's parked until three and, three and a half weeks' time. And we've got Altrincham on Saturday back on the road in the league against a, a very, very good side and a very good manager. They're, they play a certain way, they've got great personnel in their ranks and they can cause you problems. And for us, we need to ensure that we continue doing what we've been doing and getting the results that, that we have been. And three points is going to be key for us going back down south at 5, 5.30 on Saturday evening. And there's been some transfer news. Denon Lewis is coming to the building. What can we expect to see from him? Um, he's one that I've spoken about. We had a couple of conversations with the Wollstone hierarchy a month to six weeks ago, just seeing where he was at. Um, like him because he's very direct, got great pace, played at the level, had some big games last year and this year. Probably hasn't been playing in the position that he wants to at Wildstone. They've gone and adopted a new shape and he's probably occupying a, a position that doesn't suit his credentials. We want to play him slightly higher up. We want him to affect teams in behind and pick the ball up and take us up the pitch. And that's exactly what we're going to get from him. He's come in the building, had two sessions with us, gone through sort of patterns with him in terms of where we expect him to be when we have certain personnel on, on the ball and he's brought right into it. He's a good individual, good egg. He's come with yeah, a great background from Connor and Mendy. They know this group, they know the togetherness and they wouldn't accept anyone coming here and causing issues. And he's brought right into what we want to do at this football club. And for me, yeah, I think he's going to be exciting and we'll look forward to having him in the squad against Altrincham and, and playing some part in the remainder of the season to try and get us to where we want to get to. And looking ahead to Saturday, Altrincham away, nearly Manchester. What can we expect from that game? Tough tie. A real tough tie. I've watched them their last four fixtures. Um, changed it slightly. You've got Whitehead, you've got Walker, you've got Cosillo, you've got Hancock, Malt, Pringle, and that's just their midfield unit. Piers, Dynanga. Um, offensively, I think they're ex extremely effective. Senior, who's been adopting a left back, but he's a right back. Densmore, Fitzpatrick, Kiddy just won it with Macclesfield. Got good experience in their, in their back line. Like I said, have a certain way of playing, like to make the pitch big, open you up, good passing lanes. It's going to be tough, it's going to be really tough. We've got to be on our A game and the group know that. And we've done the analysis today on where they can potentially hurt us and they have a lot of threats and we need to ensure that we nullify them and exploit where we feel we can hurt them. And we followed that up with a session on the Astro today with... Yeah, our game plan, our emphasis, and that's what I feel has been a real benefit to us this year is our focus on our game plan and how teams got to adapt to what we do. And the good thing is the boys are bought into it. And you do, when you've had 10 clean sheets, I think in 16 games, when you've won the amount of games we've won, currently sitting top of the pile in the second round of the FA Cup, it helps, it assists sort of the work that you're doing, the processes and procedures. But yeah, we need to stick to the basics, do the simples right. And yeah, the habits that we've had continue with and I don't think we'll go far wrong. And although they are a very good side, they haven't got a result in their last four games, haven't got a victory in their last four games in the National League. Does that worry you going into the game that the boys will be a step up in? No, 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 not our, not our dressing room. Um, I speak to these boys at length and they're starting to understand that we're not that good to turn it on and off, unfortunately. We're all here for a reason. Consistency is saying that we've hyped, hyped up this year and harped on about, and I think that's what has been our, our to our benefit. And 
we're an underdog. That's our mentality. We need to ensure that teams get to our level and we work harder than any opposition and that's going to be continued on Saturday. And sounds cheesy, they're a wounded animal. They haven't won, they had a great start to the season, put themselves in a very good position, but you know, I'm not foolish. Them not winning in four games don't mean nothing. They're a very, very good team. They're going to hurt you in areas where we've tried to work on today to identify that. Like I said, they've got a great manager. We haven't been to Altrinham now. I remember when I took over six, seven years ago, we went up there when that year, I think they got relegated. Um, but we went to FC United last year and their setup was good. The pitch was nice. I'm not sure what Altrinham's pitch is like. I watched them against Solly Owen in the evening. Um, that was the one live on the box. Can't really make out what the grass is like, what the pitch is like, if there's any bobbles. But again, we can't control that. We can just go and do what we can do. We'll influence our game plan on, on them and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll um, come out victorious.